Hello, hello, hello. It is Diane. I am enjoying a cup of joe this morning while I paint. It is four third no, quarter of five in the morning. It's early. I'm an early bird usually. Not every day, but every other day. So, what you don't know, thanks to the mirage of video recording, is that I just did a purple acrylic pour and it is now in my drying rack. And I have a lot of purple stuff to use. But it turned out too purple to me. So I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna do a dirty flip cup and I'm gonna mix other colors in with it. Um, I'm not, not gonna put anything on my background because I have a lot of paint. So let me get a flip cup here. Just spray it with a little WD-40 silicone spray so it releases the paint. Learned this wonderful trick as I learned most of my acrylic painting stuff from Christina Welch. And I'm adding Lucas Cadmium Orange Light. You can get this at Jerry's. And um, this is Artist Loft Red, as well as, because I can't not have color shift, this is the black color shift, it has some gold in it if you've ever seen it. And then all my purples that I have, I don't know if you can see that, let me see, if you can see, yes you can. All right, so, no pink this time, that didn't really seem to help lighten up last time. I don't want it too um, dark, but these are a lot of dark colors. Let's start with the cadmium orange on the bottom. And then um, let's go in with the red. I create its own kind of purple. Um, now I want to go in this so these are a little thin and what I'm finding is they're mixing in with the other colors which is not pleasing me I did make them thin on purpose because the last time I did a tree ring pour which I'm not doing now but I did before this video it was too thick so, just have to find the perfect mix. Let's put a little of this black in. This is, this is thicker. This black color shift. Yeah, that'll lay on top very nicely. I have been using uh, more Dixie cups for cost purposes, but at the same time, it's not healthy for the environment. So I think I'm going to try to find small silicone. I do have some large silicone cups, but I need small ones. I'll put you on pause for just a moment while I mix up the rest of this flip cup. Hello everyone, I'm back. So I mixed my cup. I am trying to find my gloves. But let me just do a flip cup first. I'm gonna do that. Let it sit. Uh, I need to go get my gloves. So 
So I've always been um, mindful of the environment and things haven't changed. But one thing that struck me is I went and saw the Aquaman movie over the holiday weekend. And in part of the movie, I will not give anything away, but in part of the movie, they basically take all the junk that's in the ocean and throw it back on the ground of earth and it is just amazing so now like with all this painting and all these cups and these gloves I'm kind of very my and these pads even I'm just being very mindful of how much waste I'm creating and if you're all using a, a more eco-friendly system please let me know in the comments I'm all for that excuse me while I get my coffee here. Gotta have coffee in the morning. This looks like it has come out all the way to the bottom of the cup, so that's good. I'm not gonna do it, try to flow the cup because I don't have any paint on the canvas. Although I need to use up this white, which is very liquidy, so I might as well just pour it around the cup. It's very rainy here the past, I don't know, week. This weekend is supposed to be nice, though, so hopefully we'll be able to get out. It is good weather. It's in the 50s and 60s. I can't complain about that during the day. But um, usually Tennessee gets cold and cut end of January, February, but we'll see. All right, here we go. That's pretty cool. Now, because I had these paints pre-mixed, as you see, there's not a lot of bubbles. Um, since I'm waiting on my shipment from Jerry's, when that gets here, I will be mixing a lot more paints. But until then, you see this looks like a lump, and yet it's not. So look at that, I got most of everything out of there. That's amazing. All right, I'm just gonna let that sit a minute, let it sew up. My dogs got up with me. They heard me moving around, so they're up. And just got done feeding them. They're being all sorts of cute because they're little and white. Let me see while we wait for that to sell a little bit if I can point over a while. One of them scratching. There's my Gigi girl, though. She's the one laying by the back door. And then Daisy's just scratching on the wall for some reason. But they don't look very cute now, but they are. Daisy, turn around for the peoples. Yes, you're so cute. You are. Alright, we'll get back to the painting, because that's what we're here for. Let me just tighten this up.
So apparently I forgot to turn on the audio here when I was showing you the outcome. But it looks like it turned out well on the video, and it did. So it is also on my drawing rack, and I will also show that to you next week.